<laughs> I didn't tell her, did it? <laughs> Can you believe that? morning hello again so we're on the banks of the trench again today it's a beautiful summer's morning it's early august and we're here six o'clock in the morning hopefully get some barbel and chub just doing a morning session i'm here with my brother graham again so we're, we're fishing eight more pellets halibut pellets um, graham's got soft pellets and maggot i've been loose feeding some eight mils I think we'll have a bit just slightly upstream. It's a beautiful morning. Almost guaranteed to catch fish today. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, it's not something I want to be catching today. Well, another one that I have to go on pellet, I think. Just catching small fish at the minute. Hopefully, the big fish will move in. I've just put a pellet on at the minute. Nice chub. Looking at it. There can be one. Nice one. Yeah. That was on a six mil soft pellet, that was good. Yeah, nice fish that. Beauty. What do you reckon, three pound? I don't think so. Let's get it put back then. Chunky one. Yeah. So Graham's just running the float down there, uh, little chub float. Did that one. On Maggot, he's been getting uh, bits, dace and bleak. So he's on a pallet at the moment, six more pallet. So he's getting, with Maggot, he's just getting played with little tiny bits. I think they're pulling at the pallet as well. I'll be the gilly. Oh, not as big as the last one. Big enough. Nice. Maybe two pounds? Yeah. 
Right, lovely. So the hooks come out of the net. Brilliant. Yeah. Let's have a look at it. First of all. Still a lively one. That's quite close to you as well, that was, wasn't it? Yeah. Not very far away. Lovely, let's get him put back. Yeah, beautiful. Let's see if we can get on underwater. So we've seen signs of chub coming shallow and taking the pallets. And Graham just had a barbell on and lost it. Yeah, I can see it, yeah. There's more than one there as well. There's a barbel shallow there. Did you see that? I mean, there you could freeline there, couldn't you? <laughs> they chub like them pellets. It's two, two big lips came up then for that. You see it? And a little snatch at your bait. I'll get the net. Fighting hard, aren't they? If it comes up, it's smack you to No worry. Nice, that's a nice fish as well. Lovely. It's chunkier than I thought it was. Inside the lip. It was good, three pounder again. Yeah. Wow. Look at said, there's huge scars in its life. Look at that for a beautiful fish. <laughs> Lovely, it's getting put back. I didn't tell that, did it? <laughs> Can you believe that? I took it as it was sinking. Yeah. So, so, so what I've done with this one is created a slower sinking rig. 
It's still set at about three foot, and then um, <coughs> rain can be gilly this time. We took him some loose feed. Oh, I waited. So you see the rig's now three or four foot deep, but it's sinking really slowly. So it's giving the chance, more chance for the fish to take it without actually um, seeing the floats going through easily. The barbless hooks come out really easily. So this one's got, uh, got some damage on the tail, probably an otter, something's been biting on it. A bit of an old worrier, this one. Oh, we've got any tail. Look at that. It's junky. It's getting put back. So just holding back, holding back. Yeah. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> Still coming up for it. There's a five or six came up for it then. So I'm holding it back, you can see the pellet wafting. But that little shot's just enough to keep it under the surface when I'm holding back. I'm holding a tight line, holding it up, holding it up. It is unusual to get the fish shoaling in front of you like this. <laughs> but it's beautiful fishing when it happens. when we are feeding. Did one come up then? Did you see that? Came up looking under the float. Right, I've got another one on shallow. Looks like a nice fish as well. Looks like a heavy fish. Not sure it's not taking line. Feels like a nice fish. It's a barbel. Is it a barbel? Because I thought I saw chub coming up, but I thought there was a one or two barbel in it. Really holding in the flow, that one is.
Looks like a decent fish as well. Barbell shallow on the float. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? Let's chuck some more pallets in. Keep the shoal interested. You have to net it for us, Graham. Not quite ready yet, though. Not a big barbel, is it? Because the flow's so fast here and the fish are so strong fighting in the current. It's not coming up yet. Lovely to catch them on the float. Oh, yeah. There is no better way to catch them. It's getting ready now. You think so? Maybe. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, right, there is. Ready? It's nearly. Superb. Wow. No. Put some pellets in. Let's feed this shell. Hook out. Great with barbless hooks. She's we'll a have good, a quick look. She's a good eight pound, maybe more. Yeah. Look. Well, wow, that's a lovely fish. She's got some good girth on her. Let's uh, let the fish rest for a bit. Let's breath back. That's. I think that's worth a weigh, don't you? Well, she's eight or nine, but we can soon weigh. Well, eight and a half pounds of barbel, shallow. Oh, belly. Absolutely stunning fish. What a spectacular fish. What, two foot deep on a six mil pellet? You wouldn't believe it, would you? Off the trend. Absolutely fantastic. The fish looks actually unmarked. Like it's never been caught. No, she's mint, isn't she? Absolutely mint. We have well rested her. We're just going to turn around and have a look at the other side. See? Greens and goldens. Massive fins where they get the power from. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> she deserves a kiss on the nose, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Not from me. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Get her back. <laughs> Rest her down there. Yeah, I'm gonna screw back in and then stand in this fast boat and wait. Print back now. Absolutely beautiful fish. <laughs> Stunning. Look at that, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, 
Wow. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, so we've been priming the swim again before we go back in. Just for a few pallets and see if the fish come back up again. So sixes and eights. So it's almost resting the swim, but just keep feeding and see if they come back up. But after catching that, what, eight and a half pound barbel, they may, and it's gone back into the swim, they may settle down again. They've just been doing this for five minutes. I'll just quickly talk you through the rig. I've got a swan shot, it's 3 SSG, 4 SSG, 4 big bulk shot under the float. You see I've altered the, the rig from originally really shallow, just got one dropper on the line at about 2.5 to 3 foot deep. And there's a size, um, I'd say that's a size 14 hook, it says 12 on the packet but looks like a more like a 14. And we're just fishing a soft pellet, soft 6mm on the hook. Well, these are quite firm, quite a firm hook, so it will withstand a few strikes and stops the bleak and dace from just snatching it off. But to catch one shallow doing this, a barbel that size, it's just unbelievable, really. It's still early yet, it's probably only about 8 o'clock. Is it 8 o'clock, Graham? No 20 past 8. So we've been fishing here just over two hours, and what we've had a few bits on maggot, but five or six really nice chub and a barbell between us. Hang on, <laughs> it had one go at it and I didn't strike and came back again. Chub this time. Small barbel. Is it a small barbel? Or is it? Oh, no. It's difficult to see with the ripple, <laughs> a bit of white water. I think it's a chub. Beautiful. Ooh, he's a dark one. Have a quick look. Look at these absolutely stunning fish. Look at that. So we get in the sunlight this time now the sun's come up. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Now that one's that one looks thin perfect. Yeah. Look at that in the sunlight. Absolutely stunning. The others would look like old warriors. Well, this one looks brand new. <laughs> Beautiful fish. <laughs> Swim put back. We'll swap over now. That's a Graham's prime in the swim again there. laying the rig in so the float fish upstream and the pellets downstream. So 
see the pallet. There's a dace chasing it. <laughs> a very optimistic dace changing eight, chasing an eight mil pallet. Hard pellet as well. It's trouble just underneath that game then. That? See that one? <laughs> that looked like a barbell. We've got one on the 8mm banded pallet. Another nice job. Hang on. Oh. Yeah, he's gone under the branch. Nice cast under the overhanging branches. Nice one. Little one, two pounder. Baby one, that one. Beautiful. We're yeah, pulled back. Two pounder. Yeah. Smallest of the day, that one. It is, yeah. Nice fish, though. They like them tree roots, Graham. <laughs> Chub. Another nice fish as well. Change back to six mil soft pellet. Yeah. Shows you, don't it? That eight mil is a bit of a big, big pellet, isn't it? On the tree roots. He's trying to get under a tree. Got it. Oh, it's another good look. It's another good looking fish. Yeah. Not a monster. But a nice fish again. Yeah. Nice, beautiful fish. Not a mark on it. Beauty. Lovely. 
Yeah, look like a brand new one, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> What a cast. <laughs> you need a bit more casting weight, don't you? A little bit. Uh, you have got a weight on though. Not exactly freelining anymore. I didn't like that, did it? Oh, looks come out as well. I'll have a. I'll hold this one up, Graham. Yeah, you hold. Twig. It's a beautiful fish, there. Look at that one. Yeah. Stunning. Not a, not a mark on it. Look at that. Not a mark on it. Went straight back. Can have another go. So you're free, well you're almost free line in an 8 mil pellet aren't you? You've got one little shot on the line. What is it, a BB? One BB shot? Give it out from the tree roots. Come under the rocks. Another beautiful fish. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, not monsters. But lovely condition. Another beautiful one. Free line pellet. <laughs> There's some, some bigger chub there. Great sport these are.
Yeah. Beautiful fish. Yeah. Bit bigger this one. Real chunky fish that one. Beautiful. Or nearly the three pound mark, but yeah, little mark on its tail. Beautiful. And look lovely and golden in the sunlight. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Let's put it back. I think they're sort of checking it even better now. Yeah. Then we knew a six there came up for that then. I missed the six and then uh, one a bit further down in the swim come up for it. Looks like a good fish. Big lips coming up. You get the net for us, Graham. You get the net for us. Three lime, eight mil pallet. This, every one, these magnificent creatures. And catching them like this, it's just incredible. <laughs> Put back. Here we are. Yeah. The blow it down in the swim. Hey. Could be a barbel, I suppose. I was just about to try to even. Yeah. It's a chub. When I first talked to it, was it a little barbel? It's a chub. Because I hooked it in the deeper water at the bottom of the swim, I thought. Lovely. Look at the quality of fish, long, long and lean this one. Look at that one, beautiful. Are you having to go with this one or? No, you carry on with that, I'm going to have a go with the even one down here. Alright, we've we'll seen some bigger barbel moving so see if we can get another one. So we've changed now, we've been here, it's about half ten, quarter to eleven is it? So I'm still free lining and Graham's put a float back on. And we'll just see what we can get, Graham's going to trot further towards the end of the swim. Whereas I'm trying to pick off the shallow ones. When I lose this pellet again, I might change to a six mil.
<laughs> I think they went under the tree then. It's a bit precarious fishing here. Oh no. That is too close, Graham. <laughs> you go behind it in the backwater. See, so pull that one out. He's dragging on a bit then. Is it really? Turn that around. I'll bring this one in. What's in the line? He's coming up. He's right in front of me. Definitely a barbell issue. Oh, we lost it! Oh my goodness! What a good fish that was as well. How far down the swim was that one? Quite far. Beautiful. Another warrior. Good God. It's had a few battles in its time, that one. Another clunker, though. It's got a few marks on him. Got right. It's a white warrior, this one is. It's got some. Uh, yeah, some sores on it as well. Beautiful fish, though. Beautiful. Put him back. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. All on there. We've got one each on film, so I'm losing it. So I've changed it out from free line. I've put a little float on. Um, just to give me a bit of casting weight and altering the depth. Going back to a, a soft pellet. The fish is still sort of coming up for it, but not uh, tremendously. So I'm going to let it sink a little bit when the deep just deepened off. Missed it. Stole my pellet. Well, that's just 20 past 11. We're going to have a, a few more casts and see if we can get another fish. But well, what a fantastic morning we've had. Well, we had 20 chub, one barbel. Lost two, lost two or three barbel. Yeah. 
probably the very very first video was the biggest I think but to get them up in the water catching them shallow like this absolutely fantastic great sport in the summer makes them long winter days when you struggle for a bite to seem a distant memory If you keep a look out for more videos coming, oh, I've got some match fishing going ahead and for more pleasure sessions on the Trent. Literally just cast it out of ground, and he's got one straight away. That's only a little in. Nice fish though. No, I can't. Yes. Oh, I just dropped it down there on the bottom. Look at the fight. I'm quite ready yet. Got it. Beautiful. Lovely, yeah. Beautiful fish. You're actually bigger than what I thought. Which is well rested. Beautiful golden colours, look big fins. Absolutely stunning. Well, you just want an eight more pellet? Yeah. Lovely, it's getting put back. You watch him go. gone Disappeared. back in the flow right so we've got the stick folks to rest for a while now we've got bomb rods back out in the swimming ground just had a barbel straight away which is a beautiful fish but we're coming to the end of the video now um we're having one or two last casts on the bomb it's nearly midday so we have a good six hours at it 20 odd chub two barbel lost a couple of good barbel as well which we'll show you on the footage uh, so what have you changed to now going for your last few casts i've just uh, changed just to a uh... A running lead, eight mil hard pellet on a band. Lovely. Uh, which, was, which is what we've been doing with the float, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah. And uh, well, what a morning. To get the fish going shallow on pellet is incredible, really. And you could see the fish coming up and snatching the pellet, so we've been most of chub fishing shallow. And the biggest barbel we've had, that eight and a half, that was the same thing as well. Shallow fishing uh, in fast water, which is unbelievable. You don't get to see this very often. To get it on footage, I hope the footage comes out all right and I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been one of my favourite fishing sessions for as long as I can remember, really. In a natural environment, barbel and chub, taking baits on the drop, seeing them come up in the water. Right. But wow, what a morning's fishing. Absolutely fantastic. Have you enjoyed it, Graham? Yeah. You, it's not very often that you'll get uh, fishing days like this. Days to remember. And I'm watching the end of my rod because it keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't like these type of videos, then you obviously don't like fishing. Um, but thank you for watching anyway. Um, look out for more videos coming soon on the Trent and matches. Um, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to edit this one. I'm not sure when I'm going to release it, probably in the winter. And those cold winter months, watching one of these sessions uh, might be worth it. But we'll, we'll see. Uh, we've got a few more casts to go. Hopefully, we'll get one or two 
indications and one or two more fish. But uh, thank you very much. Bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs>